Hello everyone, welcome back to Mr. Random Generator. Today I will be showing you a program that I have made which is an URL shortener that works on Mac menu bar. And the great thing about that program is it was not created by using Xcode. It is uh, purely uh, created by using Python and amazing libraries such as Grumps and Pi shorteners. So, uh, now we can move on to the code. As you can see, uh, the code is fairly simple and short, uh, and it uses actually a few libraries. To begin with, uh, we first import rumps, which is at the core of this project. It uh, basically enables us to create menu bar applications without using Xcode, and it for structure-wise, you generally create a class, an application class, and you define the behaviors inside that using functions and stuff. So, next up, we are using a clipboard library, and uh, to understand it better, I first need to introduce you to the, uh, the working principle behind the program. So, our program is uh, running in the following way. First, the user copies a URL that uh, he or she wants to shorten. Then, it, he opens up the application uh, on top and uh, hit shorten. And after that, we just go over to clipboard and fetch the uh, copied URL. And uh, we make some operations and shorten that URL basically and again copy it back onto the clipboard so uh, when the user pastes it it just pastes the shortened version and uh, to you know handle these copy and paste operations we basically need uh, the clipboard library and as for the validators uh, it's uh, just basically a, a URL check we need to do so if the user copied the correct URL, tries to shorten the correct URL uh, formatting and stuff like that. After that, uh, we use uh, a Pi shorteners library, which is again an awesome library. It does include, uh, actually it does provide almost, I think, uh, every shortener that you could possibly use. So again, it's really good. Uh, and as for our code, uh, a few important two things to mention here. As you can see, we have param parameterless shorteners, and uh, those shorteners does not require any API key, API secret, or login credentials whatsoever. You can immediately convert uh, uh, your uh, long URL into a shorter version. So by default, our program uh, uses those. And if you want to add another uh, shorteners, provided by the pie shorteners and again they provide a lot of them you can just uh, use them and okay so uh, moving forward we do have a choose uh, function which uh, actually uh, is responsible for the uh, picking the chosen uh, shortener and using that it basically uh, in our app we have a drop down and in that drop down a user was able to choose the uh, choose the shortener that wants to use so we just fetch it and put it in a chosen shortener variable so as we move forward we have the the shorten method itself again it's really a simple method we just uh, define our shortener right there uh, we fetch the retrieved URL and from our clipboard that user copied and uh, check if it's valid and uh, we do that by using the again validators library and if that is valid we check that if uh, the user cho chooses a service uh, again shortener service if it if nothing is chosen it just uh, our application just throws a notification you know the in the max right on the right side uh, the notification pops up I will show you in a minute it just pops that and if not uh, uh, so 
if user choose any services that is uh, defined in our if statements we just uh, copy into our clipboard the shorted version shortened version which is using again our, the retrieved URL and again if something has happened and the URL is not valid so we just do another notification that uh, the provided URL is actually invalid okay so this part is actually uh, the part where I included the I include only the parameterless shorteners in the drop-down menu so if you can if you should uh, replace uh, those parameterless shorteners uh, by the uh, by available shorteners you will get the whole range of shorteners that is available to you and uh, in right there we define our application icon which is an, uh, just a simple icon that I created that shows up on the menu bar right there so uh, yeah we define that and in our menu we just add the shortener service drop down right here again the shortened menu items is an uh, item full of uh, the menu items and uh, the non thing the non thing is actually uh, a bit of interesting thing so when you uh, just let me open something yeah do you see those lines those lines are actually created by uh, giving the known non uh, parameter right there and after that is done we just run our application so again it's uh, just a simple code and now uh, let's run the application and see how it works so we just run it and see that a little short icon just pops right there we have a few options we quit shorten and sh choose shorten the service let's go ahead and uh, choose one let's say tiny url so just uh, to get a website i open the randomness.com and create some random urls let's copy that again copy and we just hit shorten so uh, it should shorten our URL and if we paste it again uh, you see that the it, it shortens to uh, the specified uh, shortener service which is a tiny URL in our case okay so that's all for this video you can always uh, check out the github link that I provided for this project you can feel free to make any changes that you want and also don't forget to check out the awesome libraries that I've used and if you like the video don't forget to like and hit subscribe button see you next time thank you